against every contrary spirit yes, Lord. every contrary spirit every demon spirit that is present here yes, Lord. every form of attack of the enemy yes. be it on our ministry be it on our persons yes, on our family yes. on our children father yes. lord we bind and we cast away every every demon yes lord from our family in the name of jesus amen we come against every contrary spirit and we decree that no weapon fashioned by the enemy will prosper against us yes lord in jesus mighty name amen, amen. Please, get me the coffee, please. Just the cup. Let me drink in here, please. I'll come with you, darling. Okay. Somebody's at the door. I'll just imagine you're going to come in. Come, 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 come. What is it? Come, 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 come. What, what, what? Uh, my, my name is Eric. I'm the son of Eric. I'm the son of Eric. I'm the son Nobody will kill you. Just wait, wait. I'll deal with him. I'll beat him to death. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Calm down. And what is it? Pastor, he is my son. But he is a wizard. I say a wizard. Pastor, he is behind all our problems. <laughs> Even if he's a wizard, killing him won't be the solution. Okay. <laughs> So your son is a wizard, huh? yes, and you think that this cane that you are holding, you will be able to beat out the witchcraft or the wizardry from him. Eh? The uh, Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You cannot kill the devil with this, okay? Say this boy, if he's a wizard, God will deliver him, okay? Pastor. You mean we should allow him until he kills all of us? Is that what you mean, Pastor? He won't that kill you. He won't kill you. He won't kill you, okay? Just... Let him be, eh? You've come to me now, so let me handle it, okay? Uh, Sweetheart. Well, come, sir, you wife. Father, uh, just come on with madame, eh? Let madame talk to her for, for a while, okay?
pastor in spite of my complaints <laughs> about my husband's extramarital affairs <laughs> just last night <laughs> Pastor, he returned home with a small girl and ordered me to leave the bedroom <laughs> that I am barren. <laughs> Pastor, I can't be it anymore. <laughs> I want to pack my things and go. Mrs. <laughs> Jones, uh, you are not going to go. Hmm? You are not going to pack your things and go anywhere. And this is not the time for crying. Hmm? This is the time for prayers. Look, Satan has a target. Hmm? And right now he is operating inside your husband. What he wants to do is to, is to frustrate you so much so that he can send you right back into the world. Now, for the eight years or so that you have been married to your husband, you have been faithful. Now, any rash decision you take now will affect you. Okay? This is the time that you will stand firm in the faith and pray to God. And pray and pray and pray. Okay? And the God that you and I serve will reward you. Okay? Take one. your name? Mm. My name is Rita. Rita. Yes. All right, sister Rita, what's your problem? My problem? Um, actually, um, <clears throat> see, I usually have this emotional What kind of emotional problem? Oh, come on, you know. Don't, don't kill that. See, Pastor, I know you need a woman, okay? Well, well, that's why I'm here. No, stop. stop. No, no, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Now get out of here. Get out of here. Stop it. What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Stop it. Get out of here. Stop it. What's wrong with you? See, Pastor, see. Sister, you don't understand. Stop it. I'll give you anything. See. What's the matter with you? I said stop in this minute! Pastor, Now you get out of my office! What do you think you're doing? See, your play had to get huh? Your play had to get. of what happened in the church yesterday. It was reported that Pastor Ken tried to rape a girl who came in for the first time for counseling. As members of God of Trustees, we need to look into the case and take immediate action to save the face of the church. It is indeed an unfortunate story to hear. But in any case, I think we cannot do anything now until we hear from the parties involved mm. and some of the key witnesses. 
I see that as a mere waste of time. Sister Rebecca. Yes. Pastor Ken has defiled this church. What we should be talking about is the action to take against him and not this foot dragon. Mr. Baker, it is too wrong to jump into a conclusion like that, no matter what happens. Yes. I beg your pardon, Brother Daniel. I have just made a point. I suppose we are here to proffer a solution to a problem. I have just proffered a solution. Um, the King Ben has made a very good point. And we have to follow it. But we'll discuss and have another meeting with Rita, Pastor Ken, and other witnesses. Let us pray. People surrender their lives to Christ. <laughs> I surrender! Flora! This Bolivian is going to make you mad. How do you mean? Can't you chat with your friends for just a second without talking about church? <laughs> Flora! See your mouth! <laughs> I have stood by you all these years and by the special grace of God I have not denied you anything if you care about me you won't hide anything from me. I'm begging you in the name of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did you do it? Did you? What do you want to hear? Hmm? What do you want me to tell you? I just want the truth from you. I will believe you. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. Do you think, do you believe that I would do a thing like that? I don't think so. But the news is all over the place. And I don't know where to hide my face. Hide it here. Hide it here. Listen. I didn't do it, okay? I know that this is one way that the devil wants to use to bring us down. But if you stay with me, if you stay with me on this, we'll beat it. Together we'll beat it, okay? You still love me? Of course I do. Sure. I think we should send for us, okay? Kananga calling it. here to indict you or to listen to you you know how much we believe in you and we hope that you will tell us the truth so tell us what exactly happened I thank you my brethren thank you by the grace of God I, I think I've served this ministry for about 12 years now I got married about seven years ago 
to my lovely wife here and our marriage is blessed with two kids. Lovely kids. In all that time, nobody, and I repeat, nobody has heard any rumors of me being promiscuous. Mm. I've not been accused of being an adulterer or committing fornication or anything like that. <laughs> Talk less of asking a girl out in the church. Mm. But here am I. Here I am. I mean, I'm being asked to defend myself against something that never happened. Look, are we here for sentiments? Or to have a fair hearing of the sacrilegious case before us? Sister Rebecca. Ah, please, as far as I'm concerned, he has not said anything. He only intelligently dodged the question. Sister Rebecca. Ah, please. Or have you said anything? Pastor Ken, if we must know, we're here to hear what happened on your Wednesday counseling. This is Sister Rebecca. You are, it appears you are taking this thing too personal. No, no matter what, he is still a pastor. Your pastor. <coughs> is your pastor not mine? A fornicator cannot be my pastor. Sister Rebecca, can't you be patient for a while? Let him talk. Listen to him. But you've heard him. What has he got to say? What did he tell you? Well, the pastor has spoken. He says he knows nothing about the incident. That was now calling the girl, I mean Rita, to come and tell us our own side of the story. Don't let sit down and tell us exactly what happened to you and the pastor. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I, I came here for counseling because I normally have bad dreams in the night. But to my surprise, when I entered to see the pastor, he started making advances at me. I, 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 I queried him to make sure he knows what he was doing. He said he, he descended on me and tore my clothes. No. As I was screaming and shouting, people ran in and opened the door. Can you tell us the exact words he used in making the advances? Words? I, I can't remember. Okay, I, I remember words like your body is succulent. Oh, what? And I, I, I feel like driving into you. Oh, what? Me? Yes, you. You. You think I won't talk? I don't even talk like that. I... My brethren, please. Please, don't, don't, don't let the devil set the pace for us to follow. Listen to me. If, if you don't trust me anymore, then let's go to God in prayer. Let's put this to God in prayer and, and, and then he will reveal the truth. Um, Elder, let us call in the other witness, the other girl. Good. Yeah. Go for her. Elder, why are we wasting time? The case is very obvious. Please. And he did it. Sister Rebecca, please. Ah. Please. Before he goes into every woman in church. Hmm. Why are you doing this? Love. Okay. We were around during last Wednesday's air counseling. Yes. When the incident took place. Yes, Elder. Good. Yeah. Tell us how it happened. Or what you saw. Actually, I was sitting outside mm -hmm. when suddenly I heard the pastor on top of his voice shouting, Stop it, stop it. Thereafter, I heard a girl screaming and shouting for help. The voice alerted everybody. We all rushed into pastor's office to save the situation, only to see Rita standing and screaming with her clothes on. Oh! The pastor was just watching. They were not engaged in any physical combat. You are a liar. Liar for what? It's okay. You can go. Call the church attendant for us. He 
can never be my pastor. Never. We'll get to the bottom. We'll get to the bottom. Attendant, sir, tell us everything you know about this incident. There was nothing wrong. He said that this lady was shouting for help inside the pastor's office. So personally, I thought she was going through deliverance. But when the shouting became too much, we rushed in and saw this girl half naked. Down! She now says Pastor Kane wanted to rape her. Ah. This is a very difficult period for me. Help me to learn whatever lesson you have for me. The word says that all things work it together for good for them that love you. Father God, I I forgive Rita and all the people working against me. I surrender totally to your will. Let your will in this matter be done. Yes, I also, also pray for my wife, my dear wife. There is no one else that can convince her of the truth except you, Holy Spirit. Help me, Lord, so that she can stand by me till this whole period of trial is over. In Jesus' name, amen. Tell me, I guessed because today is Tuesday. Flora, where are you coming from? Come here, come here, come here. Just come. Come here. I said, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? But I'm coming from fellowship. Fellowship. How many times have I warned you against this fellowship? How many times? <laughs> Look at how you look. How many times have you not heard of a pastor who raped a girl who went for counseling? Daddy, that's not where I fellowship. And besides that, Daddy, there's no true born again pastor that can do that kind of a thing. But will you shut up? Will you shut up? Now, let me warn you. This is the very last time I will have you talk to me about going to that born again thing. Have you heard me? Yes, Dad. Have I made myself clear to you? Yes, Dad. Good. Try me. Try me. But again, it is difficult. But I must confess that we have prayed concerning this problem. And we have come to the following conclusions. The board finds you guilty of all the allegations. You are therefore to stand before the church and confess your sins yes. and ask for forgiveness. After that, you will be suspended. The church, however, may restore you if you show true humility and repentance. And this decision is final. I am. I thank you, my brethren. 
If it is true that the board has prayed about this matter, and still finds me guilty, then who am I to keep protesting or confessing my innocence? I came here to serve God, and I, I submit totally to His will. I count it all joy that I'm able to suffer for his namesake. <laughs> and I know that he will see me through this. Amen. Thank you. Is there any other matter arising? There's no other matter. There is no other matter, please. Let, let, let us pray and do that. Are you telling me you've accepted to apologize to the whole church for a sin you never committed? Oh my God. What do you take me for? A baby? I want to stop that. Unless there's something you're hiding from me. That's it. That might just be it. You don't hide things from me, right? Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen. I didn't do it. Okay? Peace. I did not do it. If I did, I would tell you. And why have you accepted to apologize to the whole church? <laughs> Get in the whole church on a Sunday service? <sighs> Look at me. If you're sure you're innocent, then let's break away from the church. Let's break away. We should what? <laughs> we should break away? <laughs> Come on. You know I can't do that. Breaking away with me in rebellion. That is not my calling. I don't want to start my own church. I couldn't even talk like that. So I should just continue in this chair, man. Oh, God. Is this my portion, God? Why me? Sister Flora. You're welcome. So you were in? Yes, I've been in. Then why did you decide to keep me waiting now? Uh-oh, it's not deliberate. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. It's okay. Oh, no, it's okay. There's no problem. Thank God for that. I'm going to the fellowship. I just felt I should come and pick you along. Sister Precious, I won't be able to go for today. Why? Sister Precious. Yes. My father nearly killed me last night. For what? What happened? Did you disobey him? Not at all. It's only that he's against the fellowship. Fellowship? Yes. Don't tell me that. When my own parents are so happy that I am now a changed person, Auntie Lucky. <laughs> sir, good evening. Who are you? Okay, sir. I'm in the same fellowship with Sister Flora. I came to visit her, sir. Look, can't you people ever stay at home and help your parents? Can't you? Today is fellowship, tomorrow it is visitation. Look, I see you as a very, very bad girl. And I don't want you coming here to spoil my daughter for me. Do you understand me? Sir, please, I'm not a bad girl. I'm not a bad girl. I just came to remind you. Will you shut up and get out? Please don't be alive. Look, don't you ever set foot in my compound again. Out! Dad! Out! Dad! 
than you. Will you get inside? I say inside. I couldn't come to see you because of this Al Randy Pastor King. Pastor King? Yes, Pastor King. What happened? He has virtually raped almost all the women in church. Oh my God. You've not heard. Do you mean what you are saying? <laughs> His last exploit landed him in trouble. Tell me something. He tried to rape a new convert that came for counseling right inside his office. But as God will have it, she was able to defend her. Before people could rush in to come and help her. <laughs> Her dress were torn in shreds. Oh my God. Hmm. Sister Rebecca, if not for your position in the church, I wouldn't have believed you. I'm oh. just paralyzed oh. now. My dear, it is terrible. Very terrible. You know the worst of it all? The other board of trustee members wanted to cover it up. Hey. But I vehemently objected to it. Can you imagine? Oh, oh. An abomination in the vineyard of God. I won't be a party to it. God forbid. My dear, I want to make heaven know. And no adulterous pastor will stand on my way. None. One that shall never end. Oh, oh. You mean Pastor Ken attempted this in the church? Right inside the church. Why church? God wants to disgrace him. His cup is full. Our Lord is good. Amen. Let me invite Pastor Ken on behalf of the board of trustees of this church. So come and tell us what he has for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Elder Francis. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My beloved brethren, my very dear brothers and sisters, children born of the spirit of the living God, I thank God for counting me worthy to partake in the suffering. At times like this, I ask myself, why me? But then I realize that very long ago, I swore, I dedicated my entire life to follow Christ, no matter what the situation is. I also remember the words of Apostle Paul, he said, what will separate me from the love of God? Is it trials? Temptation? Persecution? Nothing. Nothing at all. The church has taken their decision. And I stand. I totally submit to the will of God. Let the will of God be done in this matter. Amen. Brethren, you've all heard that long sermon. The summary of it all is that Pastor King attempted to rape a girl during counseling. <laughs> But God took care of the situation. Now, the decision of the board of trustees of this church is that Pastor Ken should be placed on suspension. Shall we rise? <laughs> Brethren, we have to pray. Pastor Ken, come over here. Brethren, let us hand Pastor Cain over to Satan to torment him bodily so that 
his soul will be spared on the last day. Let us pray. Rejoicing. Have you forgotten that your father is a criminal, a fornicator, and a liar? God bless you. Go and tell your father at home. You care. Let's go. Favor. I need these things for my kids, but I have just 500 naira. 500 what? I hope you don't think this goods to a student. Or is it like husband, like wife? Please carry the code rent on you and your husband out of this supermarket. The book of James, hmm? uh, the Bible also says in the book of James, uh, chapter 1, verse 2, it says, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. This is very, very typical of our situation today. Okay? Now, we are a family. No matter what happens, we should always see it as... Uh, some temptations that is just supposed to make us stronger and stay together as a family for instance mommy mommy today was uh, embarrassed outside okay but we should not get angry we should count it all joy because we know that it is because we have been called into the service of God that is why we are going through all of this and then you Paul you you were also embarrassed today Okay, you were humiliated more or less. Now don't worry about it. You don't need to get physical or anything. Count it all joy. Because when we do this, when we're able to persevere, when we're able to do go through all of this, our faith and our patience, you know, will be increased. So in other words, good comes out of bad or evil. Okay? Now let us pray. Father Lord, put your hand. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come to you again today because we know that today is the day you have made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in you. Father, we thank you for the Where are you coming from? I said, where are you coming from? Daddy, please, allow me to worship God. <sighs> what are we worshiping? The devil. No, mom. Now I know that you are becoming a stupid and useless child. Daddy, please. What I'm doing is for the interest of the family. Mommy. Mommy, please. Beg daddy for me. <laughs> Flora. You are a total disgrace to this family. For the first time in our family, somebody is challenging our church. 
Now I know you want to become a useless child. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight! Nonsense. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. This, this visit has really uplifted my spirit. Huh? God bless you. God bless you very, very much. You see, Pastor, we are happy that despite all these trials and temptations, your faith is not shaken. Mm -hmm. And also believe that if a righteous man falls seven times, seven times will he also rise. Yes. yes. Pastor, I say take courage. Yes. All is over. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. It is well. Bless you. Welcome. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello. That's okay. Welcome. Sit down. This one that you are here so early. I hope there is no problem. Well, there is a small problem. I have not been paid my salary for last month. And it's already two weeks into the new month. And I've not heard anything from you people. I, I need to pay uh, some money to buy drugs for my kids. I, I, I need to meet up some of my personal bills. Sorry you have not been informed. The Board of Trustees decided to stop your salary till after your suspension. Why? How, how do you people expect me to survive? Ella Francis. You know that I don't do any other business. I'm sorry, but that is the decision of the board. All right, uh, Francis. Please, I, I beg you in the name of God, can, can you lend me some of your personal money? When all of this is over, I'll, I'll, I'll give you back. What? What are you talking about, Ken? It's like you've not realized that you are cost. How do you expect me, Elder Francis, to be a partaker to that cost? Huh? Well, I'll only advise you to go and continue managing until things stabilize. as well. Honey, talk to me. Well, well, they decided to stop my salary as well. What? How can they do that to us? I don't know. Oh God, this is getting too much. Hey, what kind of thing is this? Isaac. Well, he's just there. He's just there. Lord. Father Lord, this is Paul, the son that you gave to us. Father, we don't want to know whatever illness or sickness that is in his body, but the word says that by your stripes we've been healed. Father Lord, heal him right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, God. Jesus. What is it? Mommy, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yes. You're hungry? Yes, oh, Jehovah, you're faithful. Jehovah, you're faithful. Honey, just hold it. Let me get, let me get food, eh? Huh? You all right, Paul? Yeah? Can I help 
still. I brought my video. What is the fault? It doesn't have any fault. Uh, I, I want to sell it. How much? Well, like if I see it's archive. Ten. Ten thousand. Ten thousand what? For this stolen video? My friend, this is not a stolen video, okay? It is mine. I'm a pastor. A minister of God. I don't steal. You, minister. <laughs> Whether you are a minister of God or a minister of petroleum, a thief is a thief. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Yeah, yeah, man. No worries. Come here. My dear partakers of God's kingdom, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is now over six months since I was suspended, and my issue is still pending. I am pleading with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to reconsider me and recall me to the work that the Lord called me to do during this time of loneliness I have really had time with the Lord and I know that the child God loves he chastises once again I'm sorry for being considered a disappointment please give me another opportunity and I promise you I will not fail you again yours in the Lord Pastor Ken I think we should recall him and allow him to continue the work. We call him where? To this church. Do you realize what you're saying? Sister Rebecca, I'm beginning to suspect that you have something against this man. Me? Yes. I have nothing against him. Are you waiting for all the girls to be raped in church before you know this guy is back? Rebecca. How do you mean? How do you explain your hard stance each time his name is mentioned? How do you explain it? Besides, it has not been conclusively said that he did what we accuse him of doing. <laughs> and I'm sure we have not been praying for him. Pray for him? For what? Have I finished praying for myself? Rebecca, <laughs> it is enough. Now that you've all heard the content of the letter, I want us to take the final decision on this matter today. <laughs> It's okay, brother. <laughs> so, she's been hiding in your place. <laughs> I knew she must have done something wrong. That's why I'm here to ask for forgiveness. Charlie, forgive this girl today. Tomorrow she does worse. Charlie, she has overgrown her control. She came to my house and rattled one or two things. What actually did she do? Charlie, can you imagine my own daughter? My own daughter now attends these so-called born-again churches. Every day she's out of this house in the name of fellowship. Look at her. Well, we have to make her to accept, to stop attending the church. That's the only way out. You don't understand what we need. There is nothing we have not done to stop this girl. Flora, you must stop attending that your church. Your parents cannot be going to one church and you to another. It is the height of disobedience. 
And the worst is this uh, pony game shame. <laughs> oh yes. I call it pony game shame because they are a disgrace to the society. Oh. They don't dress well. They don't reason well. <laughs> they don't drink. They don't mix up with people. They are fanatical. Overzealous. They are awkward. And extremists in everything they do. Charlie, tell her. Tell her because she doesn't understand from what family she came from. Tell her. Flora, you must apologize to your parents now. I am talking to you, Flora. I am sorry. Sorry over what? It's only that I wasn't born again in our church. Huh? And there's no serious Bible study there. What? So you now want to tell me that you know more than all those reverend priests trained in all these big seminars? I am surprised. <laughs> now, Flora, you must reject and renounce that church now. I say reject and renounce that church immediately. I have accepted. Accepted what? What have you accepted? I have accepted that. That I won't be going there again. Victor. Very good. So it is agreed. From now on, no more born again in this house. Just be of good behavior and always obey your parents. Is that clear?
de sécurité, madame. Il m'a dit qu'il m'a dit Yes. Okay. What are you people doing? That is, we are Flora's brethren in the Lord. Have I not told you people not to come here before? You. Don't I know you? Sir, you do. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Please, sir, we came to visit her. It's been long since we saw her in the fellowship. Look, you people have given me enough problems in my house. You have tormented my family. I don't want to see you people here again. Do you hear me? Come now, on. get out. Now, you don't need to be annoyed. I am out. You don't need to be annoyed. Please, I don't need to be annoyed. You will see how somebody gets annoyed. I don't be annoyed. That shall never end. Flora. Uh -huh. So you know what I'm So what? Is it any business of yours? <laughs> Flora. I said the daddy when he gave you will stop one day. What what does that supposed to mean? This is a case of a dog returning to her vomit. Oh, you are returning back to your vomit, right? Okay. <laughs> This is why you've been pitching to us. You have not been serious. Oh, excuse me. What's all this spoiled about? Are you supposed to take decision for me? No, let me tell both of you. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Nonsense. Pretty face. Where are you headed? Sorry, I'm not heading away. Hey, come on, talk to a brother. I just wanted to give you a ride, that's all. Sorry, I don't want a ride. Yeah, sure, you don't want a ride. You need it. Come on, a pretty girl like you should not be walking around. Just so fall by yourself, you know? Come on in. Sorry, I didn't complain I'm lonely. Well, anyway, let me just give you a ride, you know, keep you company for a while. Come on in. Okay, if we insist. Come on in. So what's the name, pretty face? They call me JJ. Wow, nice thing. My name is Flora. Oh, Flora, as in Flora's <laughs> end. Anyway, the name fits the looks, you know, baby. Okay. The name fits the looks. <laughs> Thank you. We'll soon go to my house. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, um, let's see now. That's my car, okay? Oh. Okay, you're on phone, right? Yeah, just... Pay me a visit or call the digits anytime. I'll be around, okay? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, baby. Okay. I'll stop here. That's my house over there. Okay. Um, you know what? Just have this for you, okay? Me? Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you, son. Put it in too much. Oh, no. <laughs> peanuts. Peanuts, baby. You deserve Thank a lot more than that. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> I'm expecting you, okay? I'll come. I'll definitely come. You're forgetting something. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, I'll baby. come, man. Eh? All right, I'll be expecting you, baby. I'll come. Come right in. Hello, darling. Oh, sweetie. Wow. Pretty baby. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Oh, right. How are you? Not bad. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, nice apartment you got here. Thanks. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. You wow. stay all alone? Yeah. Wow. You know, we bachelors. 
What a surprise. Wow. Just decided to give you a surprise. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I'm surprised, you know. Uh, what do I have for you? Mm. Well, we have pina colada. Okay. We have um, Tom Perignon. Oh, yeah. We have uh, sauce. We have um, just juice. Yeah, mm. just juice. I'm sure that's what you like. Just juice, right? Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I am. You don't get Channel O. Oh, wow. Oh, Channel O. No, sorry. We we have problems with Channel O. You know, wow. we, we, I just don't understand it. Sometimes mm -hmm. we really don't have problems. But we're managing CNN, okay? So, That's no problem. Yeah, here's um, juice. Yeah. All right? Okay. No, no, we're this way, this way, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Take it easy. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Some more, some more. Oh, oh some more. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let me help you. Okay. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Well. Oh. Oh <laughs> my God! Stop playing for it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. You know, you just. just Oh. Mm. Wow. Are you, are you as sweet as the juice? Well, <laughs> same as believing. I, I can't wait to see. Wait, mind if I take some? Oh, yes, go ahead. <laughs> well. Oh, well, thank you so much for the other time. Oh, well, like I told you, peanuts, you know. I mean, you deserve a lot more, you know, like see hmm. the color of your skin you know that, that was the first thing that attracted me when i saw you and please 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 stop flattering me <laughs> no that's true and ever since then hmm. yeah i just been you know i've been imagining dreaming <laughs> about you you know oh yeah and all i come to hmm. think about is your lips nice. <laughs> playing funny no i'm not <laughs> well so what's up then? well what well, happened is that I got some tricks, okay? Tricks? Yeah. Wow, what kind of tricks? Let me just get up, let me show you. Okay. Uh, Close your eyes. Okay. And. Oh my god! Yeah. Easy, easy, easy! And. <laughs> Yes, dear. If not that I know Sister Flora very well. Uh -huh. I've been speaking to her since then. Which girl? Where? Look at her coming. Where? Jesus Christ! That is Sister Flora coming! My God! My father! No! Why? Why are you friendship? What's up? What happened? Where are you guys going to? I can't believe it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What is it? Sister Flora, uh -huh. what is it now? What is it? What's the matter? So you have fallen like this? Uh-huh. Any other thing? Sister Flora, uh-huh. I weep for Enough you. Enough of that insult. Who are you weeping for? You better go and weep for yourself. Nonsense. I'm sorry. You better sorry for yourself. It's just that I didn't expect that you of all people would fall to this extent. Keeping your faith in the Lord. Uh -huh. Never. I mean, it's so disappointing, my uh -huh. dear. And who told you I have fallen? Now, let me tell both of you. I don't ever, ever want to see you in our house again. That, that, that lady. Nonsense. <laughs> Okay, now, tell me, what's the problem, huh? I know the problem. You want some money, right? Not that. Okay, now, tell me, what is it? JJ, I've missed my period. What? Wait, wait, wait. Let me go. What did you just say? 
thinking. I said I've missed my period. Well, just let's go find it. TJ, what is going on with you? Information. Hey, you never met me, okay? I never met you. TJ, what's going on? Never. TJ, I've never known any other man before you. Yeah. It's this yeah. man you yeah. know about. Yeah. You know what? Do it, Mabel. Just shut the door behind you, okay? Oh, no. Look at me, I'm Flora. Read my lips. I said, get the hell out of here. Did you please can you wake up from this number? Oh, my God. Somebody help me. Oh, what are you doing? This is all this day, Jay. Oh, my God. This oh. is somebody help me. Oh. Laura. Laura. Yes, ma'am. Where are you going to? Mom, I want to go to the salon. Come here. I'm noticing some changes in your complexion. How? I hope you are not pregnant. Pregnant? How can? Maybe it's the liver problem that I have now. Liver problem? Yes. How do you know? Uh, the diagnosis was made by our school doctor. And he said that my liver is a little bit enlarged. God. Did you tell your father? No, mom. Why? Why didn't you tell him? Liver problem is a very serious problem. Make sure you tell him when he comes back so he can give you money for proper checkup. Okay, mom, I'll do that. It's only I didn't know it's that serious. That's why I didn't tell him. You can go. Okay. Bye, mom. This pregnancy is beginning to show. But what do I do? My parents must not hear about this. God, they'll kill me. And I can't go for an abortion. What will people say? No. I think I know what to do. No. Come here, come here. Oh. What's your name? I'm Lucy. Is she staying with you? No, sir. I'm here to see her because she has not been coming to school for the past one month. Something must be wrong here. My daughter, thanks for your concern. Flora has been missing for the past one month. This is serious. I thought I was going to meet her here. Mama, oh, Flora. Where have you been with the baby? I've been looking for you. 
I'm going to ask for a walk with him. Okay. Have you fed? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. He okay. wants to sleep. Okay. Good boy. Uh, Go to mama. Okay. Okay. Oh. okay, fine boy. Hello, darling. <laughs> Let me go and lie in Okay, okay. What do I do to this child now? I must return to my parents now that I have delivered. At least they can't know that I was ever pregnant. There's no evidence. Do I leave the baby with this woman? No. She has helped me much. And I even lied to her about myself. My God. What do I do? We saw a baby here. And you don't know who dropped this? We we saw saw baby baby. Baby. Are you sure? Yes. 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 No. Ha. And this letter along with the baby. And this is addressed to my husband. Yes. Your husband? One day the face shall never end. What is it? Can you believe somebody abandoned this baby outside? What? A baby? Yes. So, so why did you bring the baby here then? Honey, I had to. Because I saw a letter addressed to you inside it. Addressed to me? This is the product of our union. He is your baby. You have abandoned me, but you cannot abandon your baby. He is your own blood. Take good care of him. Yours as love. Oh my God. What is that? Oh. Honey, what is that? Oh, this is too much. Brethren, you will recall that a few months ago, Pastor Ken was involved in a case of rape and he was disciplined. When, however, he showed a true repentance, he was forgiven and was restored. But today, he has put himself in another mess. He impregnated a girl and abandoned her. In a short shame, the girl decided to return the child to him. And you know the kind of insult and disgrace this will bring to this judge. Father Francis, can't you see what is going on? All of this is not true. You, how can you take it, come to any kind of accusation like this without even hearing from me? Jesus! Girl, you are still lying. You mean you are still lying in front of this congregation? Uh, Rebecca, I am not lying. God, you're so hardened in sin. You're very hardened. Oh, Jesus. I thank you for embarrassing and disgracing me. Pastor Ken, in spite of all the evidence against you, you are still denying? You know you did it. So why are you denying? Church, the board of trustees of this church has met on this issue. And we have decided to excommunicate Pastor Ken yes. from this church. This means that you should not greet him. You should not eat with him. Or even do anything in common with him. And you should never be seen around this church. Pastor Ken, you are not free to leave the same. Oh yeah, that is the heart of people. When we get out of the house, we get out of the house. I said, Oh, you are a I've had. Enough disgrace. 
and humiliation because of fear. This is painful, but I, I, I've decided to leave. I can't continue to suffer. I can't die for what I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're going through a lot, but please, don't, don't leave me now, please. Just don't do that. But you are all I have. Don't, 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 don't. Some flesh, please. Don't, don't. Don't bring her up. Somebody's at the door. Good evening, Dick and Ben. Good evening, Mr. Rebecca. Dick and Ben? Um... Dick and Ben, I prefer we go straight to business. What is all this good evening stuff for? How really good is the evening? Sister Rebecca, take it easy, please. Mr. Ken, the church has given you 48 hours to quit this premises or face forceful ejection. Why, Rebecca? We are not here for fighting. But that is what we're here for. Sister Rebecca, um, anyway, Pastor, the church has actually given us marching orders to eject you. So I would advise you make alternative arrangement for accommodation to avoid embarrassment. Ben, can't you people at least give me one week? One what? One week? One week for what? Wait till we meet you here next time. thrown out. I just need a, a room in your boys' quarter that my family and I can squat for at least one month. It's like you don't want to understand me. I can easily give you a room, but my problem is I have young girls in my house. I'm, I'm, What's that supposed to mean, Chief? I understand you don't spare them. Chief, that, that was uncalled for. What am I supposed to do now? You seek assistance somewhere else. Your uncle is here. Uncle, you're welcome. Uh, uh, please. Now, before you die here, gather, uh, pack your things and enter that vehicle and let's go. Leave this man alone. I have never seen a dog like him before. So, Uncle, what about my kids? Gather them! Gather them! And for you, don't ever come around my house! Oh, please! You're going with your uncle? Ken, please don't make this any harder for me. I told you it's all over. Talk to the bedrock of every marriage. And I'm sorry I can no longer trust you. Please. You can't do this to me. Please. Goodbye. Don't do this to me, please. What are you doing? Peace. For somebody no then what are you doing here i hate seeing strangers around my house I, I, i'm sorry madam just that i i'm in pains madam I... what pains is this your baby it's a long story it's a very long story okay let's get in so that you can tell me what the problem is thank you very much madam for 
Lakshmi, <coughs> I don't really know how to start. Um, I'm a pastor called by God to serve. I had a sizable congregation that I was pastoring. And God has been faithful until very recently when, when things started going bad. My, my church, the Board of Trustees, um, suspended me for attempted rape. <laughs> I, um, I was pained. I, I, I cried to the Lord. It was, it was a very traumatic time for me. I cried to the Lord and, and the Lord heard my prayers. And after about six months, I was restored. But um, more problems came. After about three months, another tragedy struck. This baby was abandoned in front of my house Jesus. with a letter addressed to me. Inside the letter, the letter was saying something to the effect that, oh, this is the product of my unholy union with her oh. and that uh, she's bringing back my child to me and, and, and that was it. And because the church had just restored me from a rape charge before, this time they didn't even bother to hear my side of the story. I was uh, miscommunicated. And as if that was not enough, my inner came. And took my wife and my children, and I took the child just started just wanted to get away from as far as I could until I came here it's really a painful story if I may ask did you do any of those things madam before God and before you today like I've been protesting I swear to you I, I did not do any of this I, I think that the, the devil has never been happy with the kind of progress that, you know, maybe I was making in the church. Uh, and, and this is just one way to pull me down. But I know that. And, and I've promised myself that I will never give up. Well, I'm glad to hear this. But I want to reassure you it's all over. Amen. This is the price we pay for serving our Lord. Yes. Even Christ Jesus said, if we must serve him, then we should carry our cross and follow him. So maybe what I may do is to take you to our church and then introduce you to my pastor. Oh, that would be nice. Whether so we have in our midst today a guest pastor. It's a man that the Lord has either anointed for the ministry in this class. This. May I now call on the person of Pastor Ken to come up and take a look at the Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. elders sat and took a decision. Following great testimonies during his last ministration. Indeed, the church has never witnessed such a demonstration of the Holy Spirit. It depends on Pastor King to decide for himself. And I thank God to see Pastor King. My brothers and my very dear sister, I thank you. I have been called by God to serve. And so, wherever the wind blows it, wherever it takes me, I'm ready. So in whatever capacity that you want me to serve God in your church, I'm ready. Just say the word. That's okay. Yes. 
Everything is ready. The church already has a house already furnished and a standby car. So, we would like to have you this one. The result. Doctor, I don't understand. What's the meaning of all this? That's a problem. Problem? Yes. That result reveals you have cancer of the breast. Cancer? Yes. But you should thank God because it has not spread to other parts. Oh my God. Doctor, please, what do we do now? The only solution now is immediate mastectomy. What's the meaning of that? It means we have to carry out a surgical operation to cut off the affected breast. Cut for it, Doctor. Calm down, Clara. Oh my God. We can handle it. Doctor. Calm down. How can I be alive and watch you cut off my breast? You see, Flora, that is the only way to stop the spread of the disease. Doctor. But I can assure you we can handle it. No, Calm Doctor. Down. Please, can't it be treated medically? No, science has not discovered such treatment. No. No. So, what is the problem? I, um, I, I came to confess. I, I came to confess the abomination I committed against the church. Abomination? Go on, go on. No, my name is Rita. You all know me. Yes. I've been looking at your face. You're the girl that Pastor Ken attempted to rape. Yes. But it, it was a frame of. That is why I am here. I lied against the man of God. You. He did not do anything to me. You lied? Wait. If that is a joke, you better stop. You lied? You? <laughs> People of God, let me come in. I want to tell you that for us to leave our base in Abuja and come here, there's something wrong. My name is Mr. Adams. And I've been married to Rita for about two years now, but we have no children. So in our search for the fruit of the womb, all the men of God come across, kept on repeating that she lied against an anointed man of God. And until she confesses and makes restitution that she will never conceive, it was then she opened up to me. Because medically, we are sound. I'm sorry. Please. The work of the devil. Please forgive me. We are sorry, please.
I was a criminal. When I was serving God in true holiness. And in my bit to obey you. I forgot the Bible portion that says we shall not love our parents more than Christ. I disobeyed God. I yielded to Abel's commandment. We stayed away from God and drowned myself in sin. You never, even for one day, cautioned me. Instead, you became, you became happy that I was no longer born again. Now look at me. My sin has brought me this Incurable sickness. To kill. Don't talk again. No. What? I have wasted my life. Baby, we are sorry. We didn't know we were on the wrong track. Daddy. I have a burden in my heart. What is it? I have, I have a confession to make. About what? I lied against a man of God. But I will declare me see. <laughs> I told you the truth. I got pregnant by a woman called JJ who lives at number five. Rough Christians. When I got him informed of my condition, he drew me out of his house and denied me. In my attempt to save my friends and that of the family, I ran away to a village. After delivery, I thought of I have to drop the baby and come back without suspicion. I didn't want to keep my baby. I remember that one pastor that was accused of rape. I decided to dump the baby and frame him up with a letter. No, the baby is with him. <laughs> he must forgive me. He must forgive me. <laughs> what that? What is it? He must look for that man of God and plead with him to forgive me. What is his name? His name is Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Ken. Pastor Ken, I promise you.
person. A very big one. That we should allow our children to choose what they want to be. Instead of subjecting them to our own doctrines. Yeah, I regret every bit of my action. <laughs> so, I lost my only daughter just like that. And it is true carelessness. And so much trust in our church. Oh. I'm beginning to see Flora's point. Oh. Our church. Don't make somebody born again. Instead, they preach against born again churches. They have got of this one problem, darling. Oh, okay. I okay. would in that church again. Oh. Oh. It's all right. It's okay. Brother? Brother? Yes. I... I suggest we trace Pastor Ken's house before Flora's burial. We, we have no option. That was the... That was her last request to me before she died. Go. I hope this is number five rounds crescent. Yes, sir. Good. Please, I am asking for JJ. JJ is no longer staying here. Mm. I see you. Do you know where you're starting? Okay, me, I don't know. You know that it's a 419 now. So they don't normally tell anybody their way. I see. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Please, we are actually looking for one Pastor Ken. Pastor Ken? Yes. We understand that he's a pastor in this church. Oh, he used to be here, not anymore. Yes. See. Do you know where we can find him? I don't. Is there any problem? Yes. We need him very urgent. can I do for you? Uh, actually, we are looking for one Pastor Ken. I hope there is no problem. Oh, not at all. It's for good. We will be looking for him and we traced him to his uh, former church. But thank God, we are here. It's okay. Just give me one minute. Then I'll take you to his house. Thank you very much. Mr. Peters, 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 Mr.
Yeah, they came from the town. I needed to see you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. Yes. Um, actually, we came on behalf of my daughter, Flora, who died two days ago and is still lying in the mortuary. I'm sorry. I, I don't know your daughter, Flora. Yes, we know you don't know, but that's why we are here. Yes, um, before she died, she made a confession to us that uh, she had lied against you and has brought shame and disgrace to you and asked that unless and except we ask you for forgiveness, her soul will see no peace. I still don't understand what you're saying. Yes, uh, I know you won't understand. Uh, she was impregnated by an irresponsible man. I, I want you to know that I did not know anything about this. Because I had been, I had reported her missing for almost eight months. Exactly. And then one day, she resurfaced. According to her, she did not want to let me know she was pregnant, let alone that she had had a baby, because she did not want to commit abortion. According to her, all this made her to go dump this baby in front of your home with a letter framing you up. According to her, people will easily believe because you had already had a scandal hanging over you for raping a girl. Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I promised her before she died that I will look for you. I have seen you and I'm asking you to please, please, please forgive her. And if possible, allow us go with the baby. I, I forgive her. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Peters, oh. I forgive her from the bottom of my heart and, and, and without malice. Thank, thank you very you much. Pastor. Thank you, Sister Deborah. Thank you very much. Sister, thank you very much. It is a pity that your daughter is dead. And, and I'm sorry about that. I am very sorry about that. But do you know that I was excommunicated by my former church? I was cursed and handed over to Satan. It's true. Because of this. But in all of this, Mr. Peters, in all of this, I thank God. And I count it all joy that I am alive to see this happen. I thank God because he has chosen to reveal this in my lifetime. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but are you both believers? Obviously not. But maybe, maybe God worked all of this so that you can perhaps get closer to Him. I, I must tell you, I am ready even now, now, to surrender my life to Christ. Because because the way, the way you have reacted to this matter has baffled me. It has baffled me tremendously. Praise the Lord. Well, here is the boy. That's the boy with my beloved sister, the boy. I mean, she is the one that has been responsible for my survival. I accepted the boy 
because my wife and family abandoned me. So, you can take him away anytime you want. Thank you very much. But, on one condition, that you bring him up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. <laughs> very good. The book of Matthew says that while men slept, the enemy came and sowed the wrong seed. Brethren, we've all slept for so long and we have seen the havoc the devil has wrecked on our ministry. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Brethren, we have all goofed, and I pray that God will forgive us. Pastor King has challenged my life upon all the insult and disgrace he gave him. He still stands firm. There's really nothing he did not that his son. Though it might tarry for a while, but at the fullness of time, it shall be brought to light. That is my belief. I think we should find him, apologize to him, and bring him back. Sister Rebecca, do you have anything to add? Well, nothing. Good. God has vindicated him. Who am I? to stand on its own. Hallelujah. Uh, but we should make sure that all these testimonies we are not arranged to. <laughs> Sister Rebecca. Jesus is Lord. say thank you for allowing us into your house. After everything that we did to you, we're really sorry. Please forgive us. There's, there's nothing to forgive. That's okay. Yes. I don't really know where to begin. But I want to tell you that God has brought the truth to light. And we have seen our folly. Pastor, we have come to apologize to you and ask you to please come back. Yes. Come back to where? To our ministry. Your ministry. No. Huh? That is not possible. No, it is not possible. The Lord has given me another flock to, to, to take care of. Pastor, please. Oh, no, 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 you can't do this. You know, no, no. Come on, you can't do this. You can't kneel for me. No, you can't kneel down. Pastor, we know we have offended you to a grave degree. But we need you now more than ever. Especially now that the truth has been known to us. Your years in wilderness should not be in vain. And I believe that God took you away to equip you. But now that he has finished with you, it's only proper that you come back to where he kept for you. Please. Pastor, do you know that since you left us, three pastors, three, three, have come and gone. And presently, we don't even have any. Not one, not one pastor. Who knows? Maybe God created that vacuum for you to return. Please. You... You people don't seem to understand what I'm saying. 
I don't blame you, Dick and Ben, or Elder Francis for what happened. I blame the devil. Now, God has given me another flock. And I have succeeded in raising their morals. And to abandon them now would be counterproductive.